This is chapter 9-4, Special Right Triangles. Please copy your cuts. All right, there are two special type of right triangles. You have a 45, 45, 90, and you also have a 30, 60, 90 triangle. So here are your two triangles. Here are our first theorem. Let's look at the 45, 45, 90 triangle theorem. And in a 45, 45, 90 triangle, the hypotenuse is always a square root. Um, two times as long as each leg. So what does that look like? Here it is. If here's our right triangle with a 45, 45, 90, okay? And then we have the two shorter legs are congruent. So on that, x, x, and then x square root 2. x square root 2 is going to be the hypotenuse. And then the equation for a 30, 60, 90 triangle is simply going to be, come on off of there, Oh, it doesn't want to. There we go. So on the uh, theorem 9-9, which is a 30-60-90 triangle, in a 30-60-90 triangle, the hypotenuse is two times as long as the shorter leg, and the longer leg is the square root three times as long as the shorter leg. All right, and here we are. So on a 30-60-90, there's your 90 degree, your 60 degree, and your 30 degree. And the shortest leg is always x. Remember, this is you need to remember this. The short leg is equal to x. The high, hypotenuse is 2x. And then the medium leg is x square root 3. So there's your medium leg, short leg. Just remember always on the 30, 60, 90, the short leg is x. The hypotenuse or the longest leg is 2x. And then the medium leg is x square root 3. Now, Let's try some problem. Remember, you have this here for 45, 45. The two short legs are congruent, so they'll both be x, and the hypotenuse is going to be x squared root 3. So here's example 1. In example 1 here, we have triangle MBC, and we need to find the length of BC given that, find the length of BC and MB given MC is equal to 10. So we're going to write this in here. MC is 10. Okay. What is BC? Okay. The opposite legs here are these are the two shorter legs. We know that this is automatically going to be the hypotenuse MB. What's the equation for the hypotenuse? It's X square root 2. And this one is always X. MC is congruent to BC. Therefore, because MC is equal to BC, that means that BC is equal to MC. And BC is going to, which is X, equals MC, which is 10. So BC will be equal to 10 as well. Okay? Now the question is, what is the length of MB? Right? That's what we want to find. If we recall, we have on a 45, 45, 45, this is the equation here. And what does this say? Say the hypotenuse on a 45, 45 is, is the same as x square root 2. Okay? We already have, we know what x is, so the hypotenuse you just substituting in is going to be 10 square root 2. And that's going to be your hypotenuse, which is your, in this case, mb which is 10 square root 2. So now we have BC and we have MC. Remember, hypotenuse is x square root 2. We already know what x is. x was given as 10. 10 square root 2. Because this is the equation, x square root 2. Let's try example number 2. It's going to get a little more tricky, but you can get it. Okay? Here's another 45, 45, 90. Given the lengths of AE, excuse me, find the lengths of AE and ER given that AR is 14. So we're looking for X basically, right? What's the equation for this? Well, the hypotenuse, remember, the hypotenuse equation is X square root 2 on a 45, 45, 90. Well, we don't know what x is, okay? What we can substitute is we do know the length of the hypotenuse. 
the hypotenuse length by substitution is 14. So instead of saying hypotenuse, I say 14 because I know it. Equals the equation, which is x square root 2. We're looking for x, so just solve for x like you normally do. So that means to find x, that means I have to divide both sides by the square root of 2. So what am I left with? I'm left with 14 over square root 2 equals, that drops out, x. Normally we stop here, but when you get to trig, you're getting ready to go to trig in just a few uh, weeks here after we finish geometry. We do not leave a root, a square root in the denominator. So this would normally be the answer for x. But we've got to get that square root out of the denominator. All we do is multiply by that square root, which is a square root 2. We multiply it in the numerator and the denominator. When I multiply the numerator and the denominator, that means I have, now I'm left with, scroll down here just a little bit. I have now 14 square root 2. I just switched these two around. I put the 14 in front over the square root 2 times the square root 2 just means it's 2. Okay, it just comes out of the radicand sign when I multiply it by the same number. So, for example, if I was multiplying the square root 4 times the square root 4, it would just be 4. Or the square root 5 times the square root 5, that just equals 5. The square root of 13 times the square root 13 just equals 13. Same thing happens here. Square root 2 times square root 2 in the denominator is just 2. And that equals x. But look at this fraction. 14 over 2 is equal to what? 7. So it would be, it's canceled out, 2 and a 2 is 1, 2 and there is 7. So this is going to be 7 square root 2 equals x. And that is the length of this x here. It's 7 square root 2, and this is also 7 square root 2. Let's try another one here. This was just a reminder of what the 45, 45, 45, 90 looks like. Example number three, please copy that one. We need to find AR and CR given that AC is 3 on a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Okay? AC, I can write in here, is 3. And we need to recall this is the equation for 30, 60, 90. Remember the short leg, which is AC, is equal to x. The hypotenuse, I always jump to the hypotenuse next, this is always 2x. And then the uh, medium leg, which is CR, is x squared root 3. So find, for me, the easiest thing is to find, if I know x, it's easy to find the 2x or the hypotenuse. So if I know that the hypotenuse is 2x based on the equation here, I can easily find AR. AR is going to be 2 times AC. It's 2 times as long. Okay? And in this case, what's AC? Okay, AR is equal to 2 times 3, so AR is equal to 6. How do I find CR? To find CR, it's kind of like what we did in example number uh, 2 here. Okay, and to find this one, this particular one, I'm going to come here and say it's x square root 3 for the medium leg. And the medium leg is CR. And the CR equation is x square root 3. And we've, all, we've already discovered x. It was given to us. What is x? It's 3. So CR is equal to 3 square root 3. And no, this is not turned into 1. That's 3 and square root 3 is not the same thing. Okay? So it's 3 square root 3. You put the square root of 3 into your calculator, you're going to get like 1 point something, something. So square root 3 is actually not equal to 1. It's 1 point something, 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 something. So 3 and square root 3 are not the same. Therefore, you cannot say this is 1. Okay, because the square root of 3 is actually equal to something like 1 point, not something like that. Okay? So leave that 3 square root 3. And now I found AR and CR. Finally, example number four. Given a 30, 60, 90 triangle, 
find T R and Y um, T Y given Y R is five on a 30, 60, 90. I immediately look for my short leg and I mark that as X. I know my hypotenuse is two X, and I know this is X square root three for my medium leg. Okay. This one's a little bit more work because this is not x, this is x squared root 3. And on my medium leg, I know the equation says x squared root 3. Well, what is the length? Now I substitute, what is the length of the medium leg? It's 5. So I go ahead and put the medium length leg in there. 5 equals to the equation because I'm looking for x. And x is going to be the short leg. I'm looking for x and x is the short leg. Once I find x, I can find the hypotenuse because it's two times whatever x is. Okay? So the medium leg equation is x squared root 3. I know the length of the medium leg, which is 5, so I put the, substitute the 5 in. x squared root 3. I'm looking for 3, so I'm going to divide both sides by the square root 3. I need that out of the denominator. Okay? Now remember what I said before. This is 5 over square root 3 equals x. This will drop out. Remember, we do not leave square. This would normally be, we would circle our answer and then be, we'd be finished. But remember I said, you never, ever, ever leave a root in the denominator. So that means that we're going to multiply the numerator and the denominator by the square root of 3. And when I do that, now I'm left with the square root of 3 times 5, which is 5. Square root 3, square root 3 times square root 3, remember what I told you before, square root 3 times square root 3 is just whatever is underneath the right hand sign, which would be 3. So 5 square root 3 over 3 equals x, and there it is. That's your x. 5 square root 3 over 3. Now I need tr or the hypotenuse, and the hypotenuse is 2 times as long. So how do I find TR? TR is equal to 2X. I just substitute X in here. So 2 times, what's X? 5 square root 3 over 3. And when I do that, 2 times 5 is going to be 10. Square root 3 over 3 equals TR. Okay. 2 times all of this, all 5 square root 3 over 3 is the x. That's the value of x. So I have to put that in there for x. Okay, when I do that, 2 times that is going to be 10 square root 3 over 3. And that's your 9-4 special triangle.